What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Brian Rodriguez. Today I want to review this Rain 4 DJ controller. It's got a lot of features, a lot of cool stuff. I'm going to show you guys around, alright? Here we go. First, we're going to start with the back of the controller. Starting from the left, we have the power button, an IEC power cord. We also have USB A and B for switching between users. We have an XLR main out. We have an RCA main out. We have a TRS booth output as well as another additional channel for channels 3 and 4 if you want to add turntables or CDJs with the phono ground. And we have a mic 1 and mic 2 inputs. We're now going to do an overview of the decks. To the very top left you got your beat jump buttons, you got your slip, your sensor, you also got your track select. You can go back or load it into your uh, prepare list. You got your stem split, you could uh, split the tracks in between uh, channels 1 and 3 as well as your uh, pitch range. Moving on down, you got your looping. It'll do an automatic loop or you can arrange how many beats the loop is. If you'd like to do a loop, you gotta hold shift and hold loop in for a manual loop. Here you have the stems button, so you got your acapella and instrumental. Whichever one you press will activate that mode. So if you press acapella, you'll get only acapella. You press instrumental, you'll get only instrumental. You also have your key adjust to adjust the key of the song. And then you got your regular sync button, you got your Q, and you got your play. I'll now show you how the stems work. So you go into the stems button. Your first button is going to be your vocal, so you can turn them off. Turn back on. You got your melody. You got your bass. And your drums. As well as you want to turn on only a cappella. That will shut off all your instrumental. The other way around, you turn off your vocals, you got only instrumentals. Now over the mixer. To the very left, you got your mic one channel. You go down, you got some uh, filter, filter roll, noise, and flander effects. It will work on these knobs here. Then you got your channel effects select button for your paddle effects. As well as your cue buttons, you got your four channels here. Here you got your main, you got your booth out, your sampler level. And then here you have another few effects. You got your echo, and these will be for your paddle effects. So these will work in conjunction with your filter knobs. These will work with all your paddle effects. As an example, here's the echo. Press down to activate it um, a little bit. Push up, and it'll leave it on. Here you got your filters. Filter rolls. Flanger noise. You also can adjust how strong you want your effect to be on this depth knob here. In the very front you got your mic 2, you got an on off, you got your level high and low. Here you have your, all your channel select, you got your crossfader contour and then you could put if you want either channel to be left, right or just straight through without the crossfader. Then to the very right you got your headphone inputs, you got your mix with the Q and main level you got your level, and then you also have your split cue, as well as a quarter inch jack or a three eighths jack. To quickly conclude my thoughts on this Rain 4 controller, it is a very well built unit. The only thing I don't really like are the microphone inputs, which is a popular thing with all controllers. To keep the cost down, they kind of go cheap on the uh, microphone inputs for some reason. Uh, the gain is very strong on it, so I ended up having to take out a lot of bass in order to make it work. I just kind of use an external mixer now because I don't want to go through it. Uh, you should be using an external mixer anyway. So that is the one thing I didn't like on this. But besides that, the platters feel great. I've had um, DDJs SZs, I've had XDJs XZs. I've always been a pioneer guy, but when I saw this and I saw the stems controls, I had to get it. Platters are great. The feeling for me is just right. I like a lighter feeling platter. Um, I guess it kind of feels like a turntable besides the movement I know a lot of people wanted moving platters um, if I'm gonna use moving platters I'll use my techniques so that wasn't a big thing for me Every, I love how in the center you got a pitch you could feel where the center is my XDJs just went straight through you had a, a reset button um, everything feels where it should be uh, I'm not I haven't used rain prior to this I've always had pioneer gear and I adjusted this right away I love how the stems is integrated. I love how the um, your EQ is in isolation, so it, it completely 
takes out the sound. So here, no sound at all. Bring it back, brings everything back. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. This thing is made of steel. It's a solid unit, uh, and I love it. I would definitely recommend it to all you pro DJs out there if you're starting out, whoever it may be. We approve this message, all right? Lastly, if you like the video, please leave a like. Leave any comments. I'll try to get to all your questions. We're going to be doing more reviews. We have a lot of cool equipment. I'd like to share my thoughts with you. We've got over 10 years in the industry, and uh, I think we could be able to help some people out there, all right? Once again, please like the video, put your comments, subscribe if you can for future videos, and we'll see you on the next video, all right? Keep them rocking. Peace.